So back on Earth, there mm-hmm. is Murphy. She's now a professor, and she's yep. doing some stuff <laughs> on the board. Um, let's yeah. let's see if we can figure stuff out. So, so I so, don't really recognize any of this. Go ahead. That's what does it say? Oh, for first, first, uh, yeah. Interactions with standard time flow, all combinations. Oh. Yeah. It says iterations. What did I say? Interactions. Oh, autopilot. Okay. Iterations <laughs> with standard time flow, all yep. combinations. I don't know what the symbol is. Variable weights. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Auxiliary fields to me sounds like they've got a flat Minkowski space. Okay. And they're putting on an auxiliary field to represent the warping of space time. Okay. Uh, and then the rest of it, I am not sure. It's just kind of, I mean, I'm not a GR person. Mm-hmm. I, I do lasers. And so, so uh, I mean, I recognize it as kind of GRE stuff. Like I, like I, I recognize these, this is a tensor with, with some Einstein notation. Right. But I, I guess the fee right there, an orange is going to be some kind of potential representation, okay. but I don't know what that means in this case. If anybody knows, let us know. Because if, if you're a GR person, let us know. Let us know. Is this legit? Yeah, is it legit? That's a good question. Or is it just gobbledygook? I have no idea. I have no idea. I have I no, know. Idea. no idea. Ln q squared e to the minus q squared over out. This looks like thermodynamics something. Mm-hmm. But I mean, but that also there was lots of things that look like this. Yeah, an, an exponential. Sure, that's in a lot of stuff. So a lot of stuff. Oh, I mean, but yeah. exponential paired with this natural log, with the two that comes out. I feel like I've done a lot of a lot of mm-hmm. homework with this thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thermodynamics mm-hmm. sucked. So painful. Three point five D. So the the five dimensional beings made this this library like structure, mm-hmm. and um, I have questions about it. <laughs> yeah, so does Cooper. <laughs> okay, Cooper. <laughs> Come on, Cooper. Okay, new fear unlocked. Huh? Being, being stuck in this thing. space inside their five-dimensional reality to allow you to understand it. You've seen that time is represented here as a physical dimension. You have worked out that you can exert a force across space-time. Gravity can cross the dimensions, including time. Apparently. <laughs> Even Tars is like, mm-hmm. I guess. <laughs> yeah, sure. So, so this was so super. First of all, first of all, in a black hole, do whatever you want. So, mm-hmm. so this yeah. super cool visualization. Um, I wonder though, like, can we can we actually visualize three, four dimensions? I guess right, because so you need three space and one time. Time is the fourth dimension, mm-hmm. but humans always experience it in a in a vectored way, in a, in a one directional way. So it really mm-hmm. like it's like three and a half dimensions because we we can never go backwards, right? right? And so these five dimensional beings are making a pseudo three and a half dimension three pseudo four dimension like like can cooper process this so i think there's no human that can picture any dimension spatial dimensions greater than three we have you to just, do you it just by can't. Just, your brain your, your brain's not well, made for it so that's the question what if we had access to an actual 4d environment if we were if our 3d bodies were plonked into a 4d environment and we looked around we'd be like Okay, I get it. Or would it just be uncom- incomprehensible? Right. So th- yeah, this is this is yeah yeah great. So so, gosh, this is such a deep philosophical question. If so, as far as we know, we're in a three dimensional environment right now. Right. We could exist in a four dimensional environment right now, but just not have the senses to be able to see it. Right. Or even if we did see it, we our brain might just delete it and be like, that doesn't make any sense. Mm. It could also be that we truly are in a 3D environment. And if we went into a 4D environment, our brains could comprehend it. It's like, oh, I've never seen this before, but, but I get it. I, I get can, it. Okay, okay, I can figure that out. And the only reason we can't picture it is because we haven't experienced it yet. That's right. I doubt it, but could be. Okay, so we've been talking about like spatial dimensions. There's so like X, Y, Z, and then I don't even know what the, what the W would be, right? But I have a fairly, I have a looser definition of dimensions. Like if I, I've, I've made graphs that are that are X, Y, Z, and then I needed to show energy. So 
I, I mean, I can't plot that. But what I did was I did a color plot. So it's like mm -hmm. like if the peak of the shape here is red and then mm -hmm. lower down is blue, where well, that peak means that it's a higher energy. So I added to the color dimension. So in that way, like, yeah, I guess we're, we're able to express, we're able to visualize four dimensions and higher. You just need to map it on other things. Like, like if you were to do like, uh, like, not only if you did like an X, Y, Z and then like a hot spot, like if you were to touch it with your hand, like mm -hmm. that's the spot that has the most, I don't know, chemical potential mm -hmm. and then like a cold spot like that has the lower chemical potential. And so, yeah, we can experience multiple higher dimensions than three, but we're really talking about spatial dimensions, which is, which is something that no human has ever experienced. Right. And so coloring a plot to get an extra dimension seems as a valid way to express another dimension but also feels different than a true new axis. Right. So a true, mm. a true new fourth, like spatial. I don't even, it, it's different. Where right, I could go back and forth in X, back and forth in Y, back and forth in Z and back and forth in W. But what is, what is W? Oh, like? WB like it's the fourth wall in movies yeah. perpendicular to everything, but it's incomprehensible incomprehensible right now right now maybe right. einstein the sequel will come along and be like i can picture it no problem that's right <laughs> all i needed all i needed was another few hours of movie and i got it <laughs> yep yeah interesting Super how would this all look how would they present it to us what they did was a space bookshelf but maybe that's the only thing you can comprehend <laughs> yep, yep. <Space> bookshelf. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but I mean, it worked, right? I, I definitely see 3D space and I see like if I go to left, like it's backward in time, I go up, that's... Mm -hmm. Right. If I go left, it's backwards in time, I go right, it's forward in time. If I go up, that is imaginary time and down is minus I imaginary time. Like, wait, wait, wait. Whoa. Right, because there's 3D spaces in this room mm -hmm. and then he still also has 3D motion himself. I see. So, like, it's actually three D space, and the room is a subspace of three D space, but just still three D. And then yeah. that's like a slideshow that, that moves exactly. through through the, the larger three D space. So, which I, which I would totally understand this if it was a line. So it's mm -hmm. like it's like eleven a.m. is this room, mm -hmm. twelve a.m. is this room, one p.m. is this room, but he can also go up and down. And forward, oh, that's right. and back. There's, yeah. There's like different ways you can go through time. So, so these people, these aliens, don't even conceive time as linear. It's like time is also a three dimensional axis. Mm. Does that necessarily Which, mean that they do multiple realities? Because our time exists along one timeline, or like our our existence, our experiences exist one long timeline, but they can do this timeline and this timeline. Or maybe it's just that's the way they represent the one Dness. Because, no, that, that it would mean there's branches so that there's multiple realities. Yeah, I, I got it, I got it, I got it. They're five-dimensional stuff. And they're, like, they're like, yeah, humans will get this. And then humans are like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. I'm, I'm in a library yeah. box. Yeah. And the 5D so people it, are like, what? Why wouldn't you get it? It's like if we want to represent a line, but we have only a small sheet of paper, we can, we can make it back and forth. Right? Yeah. And then we can... And then we can <laughs> That's still a lot. Oh, okay. No, no, we take we take film and we want to store it. Yeah. So we roll it up. Well, that's still a linear thing that you can unroll. This is like this is 3D structure. You can't Right. You can't un we can't comprehend right now how to unroll it. But okay, that's it's fine. rolled up. I'm saying that's, what, <laughs> that's it's, what it's in, inside the black hole do whatever you want. It's Not a it's problem. 3D space frames rolled up in 5D space. That's right. And so easy. Yeah, with a moment's glance, you know, to think about it a little bit, maybe bang yeah. back of the envelope yeah. copy calculation, you got it. Leave it as an exercise for the reader. That's right. Textbooks, so condescending. I love it. <laughs> I want to write a textbook. Yeah.